All right, so we are going to print this model, just this one. And if you have other objects or models in the uh, in your work area, you can just select them and temporarily cut. So I'm going to right click, select cut. And then while there are not there, I'm going to download what remains in the workspace. Download the STL file. Download. It's, it has been downloaded. Then I'm going to right click the work area or the workspace and then select paste in place to put the items that were cut back in its original place. And if I'll open the downloads folder, we should see the file there. And then what we need to do is to open the slicer program, the slicer software that came with the uh, 3D printer. You can find them here. So we're going to use the Creality Slicer. So open that. In my case, I have opened it already ahead of time. And for the first time it opens up, you'll be asked some questions so that you can set it up properly. So let's click Get Started. Just click Agree. And then next and then identify the printer that you're going to use in this case I'm going to use Creality Ender 3 S1 that's our printer and then click next and then this is okay click next and then double check that you have selected the correct printer in in our case we only have one then click open and select for the file that you want to print so it's in the downloads folder select the file that's the STL file click open and then you can zoom in using your scroll, uh, scroller and then to orbit or to check the other sections you can just right click and move around zoom in make sure it's flat on the uh, print bed you can move it by clicking, by uh, selecting it. I'll select this one, and I can just move it around. Specify where you want it to be printed on the bed, or it's okay if if it's at the middle. You can also uh, make it rotate. In this case, I can rotate it this way, but I will not because. The original position is okay. You decide if you want to rotate, but in our case, it's already okay. And then, next, I'm going to check the quality. I'll click here, and then I can select the infill. Normally, we'll select 20. If you click custom, you can specify the other options for the material our printing temperature is 225 as stated on the label of the uh, filament build plate temperature is 70 flow is 100 for the infill that's 20 and then 
for the support select general support so this setting is okay and then that's it so we'll settle at 20 percent infill and then select slice and then we'll see here that this will print for 40 minutes and then we need to get the uh, SD card from the printer hold on I'll get it So this is the SD card. We'll need uh, an adapter. So you will need this. I'll plug this in. Then you'll plug this into your USB port. Hold on. Then once plugged in, select save. Then go to USB uh, in our case is drive D and then give it a name just say cube or box I click save then it should be saved already as shown there so if you open the folder you'll see the file box there so I'm going to unplug I'm going to get the SD card. Just go to the printer. I'll plug this in. Carefully press afterwards. This has been preheated already, so card has been inserted. I'll press, bring out the menu. I will select print from SD card and select the name of the file and then press. And then we'll wait for temperature. Hold on. Let's wait for a while. While waiting, if you'll check the label of the filament, you'll see there the requirements for the temperature. So it says here that the printing temperature is from 205 to 225 degrees Celsius. The bed, the bed. It's already 70 degrees Celsius. We're waiting for the nozzle. We heat up up to 225 and it should start printing.
started printing and all we need to do is to wait for it to finish.